Hello, welcome back to another video and this isn't the usual train video or train update you'll get. Uh, this is a video that I'm quite special to share with. I, it was my first time going to the team of making uh, in Derbyshire town uh, etc. But before we go to the video I'd like to bring up this uh, lovely photo of trains and this was a special friend who uh, sent me this who uh, was in Buxton and lovely really lovely of them uh, sending this to me now if we can just see in the picture uh, there is some car there's cars of class mark one coaches in the background there is a an American 440 uh, tiny Scotsman etc and then just in the very back you can see a an old Hornby clockwork engine uh, for O gauge, but anyway, uh, let's move on to the video now. So, otherwise, uh, let's get this going. So here we are. Here we're getting started. So this is the engine inside like the making, uh, the musing of making, and gosh, you can just about to see the giant engine uh, jet jet engine giant jet engine just through the windows now here we have uh in the very front we have a friend and another friend and a friend and a teacher and a friend right anyway let's move on we are inside the museum and you can see the jet engine the jet engine looks incredible we'll say it looks very much incredible and now it is close up now, gosh, all the mechanism that's uh, been having to go through that, it's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now, he is, I have no idea what this is, and uh, I think it's the sewing thread. <laughs> this is my guess on it, because I don't read much information on these. I think uh, it's, so back in the uh, old days, when they uh, had people manually sewing uh, like clothes or sheets etc I think this was to actually help them actually get the needles and sewing wood stuff that's my guess anyway now here are mine wagons you can see so one uh, one's facing backwards and one facing forwards now I would just say gosh I loved it <laughs> I mean, we couldn't really climb up and have a look. I mean, you can't really do that at all these days, can you? No, you can't, no. Now, this picture is kind of blurry, but uh, a friend would absolutely like uh, this. So, it's a old it's a, um, old motorcycle. Uh, motor, basically, an old motorbike. Anyway, uh, I don't know much about it other than it's old and a friend would absolutely love this. And then we're just going to skip these because there's nothing much to show. Of a, there is uh, some pictures in the background of a railway workshop and a railway, and a railway sign called Railway Terence. And I don't really know what that is all about. And then here you have just um, markers. I, that's what that's what it says on the sign. It says markers. Now here. Is the best part uh, this is where you get to see all the trains and um, everyone around me were like why do you love these so much and I tell them because I do shush <laughs> anyway um, so some of these images I have no idea what they are but some I will go through so uh, there are two models here there was an O gauge or G gauge model of a uh, the intercity 125 a friend from another school would like there's some coaches and then you've got the engine the, the br train that goes 150 miles an hour um that was shown in footage in yeah 1975 shown yeah uh there's a wood carved there's a big wood carved um I think that's a class 37 or a bigger class 37 and then you've got the German 
And then you've got the German train of the uh, Flying Hamburger, I think. And then you've just got these other stuff. Now here is the Fowler 4F. Loved it. Um, I think it's just a static display piece. I haven't really uh, had a proper look at it. And then just in the background here, there is a lovely ONER or GCR Atlantic. Now, I have no idea what these are. Uh, I have no idea. Um, and then there's just other stuff as well. And then there's like art and... Yeah, sorry, I was sounding a bit moody over these. And now this is the best bit. This is a miniature traction engine. And I'll tell you what, my friend said... The, uh, my, my friend said, oh, this is what kids used to drive. My friend, I had to I had to explain to them for a solid ten minutes that these engines are not for children; these are for grown adults and uh, grown teenagers who are in who just love steam engines. And also, uh, I said possibly a child could be killed or very much. This is where we get all the fun part. We get to see the trains. I'll let you enjoy. Slippery floor, so be careful when entering. Okay. So what we got then? We got some vans, Mark 1s. That's A. Let me have a peek over because I don't know from my camera. No, no. Yeah. That's a great, yeah, that's, a great that's an industrial. Slippery floor. It's not running right now, that's a shame. Right, can I guess any more engines around here? Yes, I've seen that on display before. That's a Furnace Railway 060. I don't know the actual engine class, but it looks like a 276 class. Steam lorry there. Right, so we can't go past this bit here. Can't go past this bit. That's an LMS U1 Garrett. And this is a diesel. The controls are in there. Why would they make it move? Because it's not running today. Very simple. Simple Steam. Yeah. Oh, that's over. Uh, yeah. 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 Tell you what, you can hire bikes and something. Tell you what, Chris. You've been there. No, but I do know. I do know some of the engines here. Some Pancras. That's all that is. Yeah. yeah. That's a sterling single. O four four. What do you think, Joe? What do you think? Absolutely love it, Misha. Absolutely yeah. love it. You can come here any time at lunch and stuff. See if there's anyone working on it. And this support mail. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> It's all it's all over gauge, you see. There's you all hmm? yeah, we're recording this from a channel. I mean, why not? Oh, you have a channel. What's it called? Midland Productions. Damn. <laughs> now the trains went on that day, so we came back another. So we came back another day, but um, on that uh, now on that same day we went to go and get some Greggs, and oh boy, I loved my pizza. Anyway, back to some more trains. This was the same day that we went over to have a look. Yeah. 
Let's see another one. You can see it right over there. Down the other side. That's the kind of going to come in. come out of the puddle in a bit. Getting ready. Here it comes. Watching it. Here it comes. Out of the tunnel. Wow. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo choo, is it? Oh, look, another one. Come on, bring it the way. Crash. Oh. Wow, that's a big train. Look how many. Look at the carriage. Yeah, carriage. Wow. It's working pretty hard. I want to see the other side. I want to go on the other side. Other side? Well, the other side is probably down the bottom here. Go over the other side. Trains will be coming by soon. Yeah, but uh, it was closed off last time, but this oh, one is running. Yeah. Trains will be coming from the tunnel down there uh, and it will come all the way around. So, mostly old and midland trains. One's coming over. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get a good shot of this coming by. Wagon, so two, six, seven, eight, nine. So about sixteen, seventeen, twenty. So about fifteen, twenty coal wagons. Should be another train coming by soon. The tank engine, I don't know which one that one is. So, yeah, that's a no six, so a bit big, it looks like a GNT, but GNTs weren't made until yeah. the 1930s, so I would say. I don't know most of these classes. Mm -hmm. Looks like an E2 because of the air or a GNT. I mean, it has the E2 arrangement, but I don't know. Someone in the comments will tell me. Mm -hmm. You can go over there to the other side. Well, it was a very short video for me uh, to edit. But anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoy uh this video uh, episode three is short uh is in the making uh i can't promise you all anything but possibly in about seven weeks it should be out because i am going on a trip to york again and then we're going to another uh place in the midlands and that's the ecclesbourne valley railway now uh, I might be able to volunteer there. Now, good news. If I get to volunteer there, I will be able to show some behind the scenes. 
Uh, I hope no one from the Echoes Born Valley Railway sees this video. Really hope so. <laughs> anyway, um, so, goodbye. I'll see you all another time. Ta-ta.